Hey, what's happening, guys? In this episode, you're going to watch me do, one, a chest workout. It's pretty dope. And two, you're going to watch me uh, talk and actually demonstrate a little bit of my food preparation, talk about weighing the food before or after. And this all has to do with contest prep and being like really super efficient when it comes to bulk cooking and just getting shit done. So go ahead and watch this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, like, share with your friends, do whatever you want to do. Thanks, guys. I, um, I'm actually doing something different. I'm going to be weighing my food after cooking it. And um, in case you have any questions about that, honestly, whichever way you choose to uh, weigh your food, especially the meats, um, before cooking or after cooking, um, just realize that both can be very accurate as long as you're using the correct guidelines um, that you may have found online. Yep. Each way isn't perfect. Neither way is perfect. But as long as you're doing one, being consistent, um, following correct guidelines, for example, if you weigh your food after, make sure you're looking up the guidelines online of, um, of chicken or fish that is weighed after cooking and specifically how you cooked it. And if you're weighing something raw, make sure you're using the guidelines for the raw meat. That's pretty much it. Both are accurate but neither is perfectly accurate. I hope that makes sense. All right guys, and if you're wondering how I'm going to be doing this, I'll show you the chicken first, but I won't show you the whole thing. I'll just explain it. Uh, it's really thought out. I'm gonna wash it a little bit. Cut it up into really, 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 uh, you know, thin pieces. Put it in that bowl. Overnight, I'm gonna let it marinate in this. And um, if you're wondering how much calories this is, look. Okay, one gram carb, one gram protein per tablespoon, right? Okay, I'm gonna use the whole damn bottle. It's helpful to pay attention to little things like that, and especially to the bigger things like if you're using you know dipping sauces and ketchups and sh crap like that. Definitely want to you know think about that. But uh, this is something very minimal. All right, I hope I got the recipe right this time. My Allegro marinade: salt, pepper, and thyme. About cooking and weighing my food after. Well, actually, the main reason why I'm going to be cooking and weighing my food after. Um, and you know, of course before I eat is it seems seems so much easier um, Weighing my food while it's raw. I gotta worry about touching stuff and cleanliness and all that if I weigh my food afterwards um, It just seems so much easier. I can pick up the damn chicken just throw it wherever I want weigh it out it, it, seems like it's going to be so much easier for me. Um, definitely a lot easier. Whether I put it in bags or containers, it's going to be so much easier. Uh, also make sure to designate my Thursdays because on Thursdays I only eat, you know, I eat like a smaller serving of fish and chicken because uh, I up my carbs and when I up my carb um, sources it indirectly raises my protein. So uh, I kind of have to lower my protein sources so um, I'm gonna designate which like bags or containers have smaller amounts of fish smaller amounts of chicken <laughs> 
you'll see, I, you know, I started like, you know, 15 weeks out every week or every other week, you know, change it up, change it up many times, all having to do with, you know, how my body's looking and how I'm losing weight. So yeah, swag. What up, 10, 3 a.m. on May 16th, get my breakfast ready. Uh, this whole week is actually going to be like a deload week. Um, it'll be like my regular hypertrophy week, just that I'm going to be doing like 20 reps um, less per you know body part. So every workout, like say my chest workout, I'm only going to do a total of like 40 reps. Um, that could maybe be like... this one out five sets of eight total you know maybe two sets on the bench press two sets on the incline and then one set on the flies something like that that's pretty much going to be it I'm only going to count you know the working sets the heavy sets but I'm not going to be hitting failure either so yep Actually not. oh what 60s are you going to do <laughs> I'm playing the douche bar douchebag is in me the douchebag is this. Cooked chicken, the same amount of protein, is going to weigh a lot less than raw chicken. That's just because the evaporation, um, cooking it, water leaves the meat. So uh, each chicken, se each uh, section of chicken is only going to be 5.5 ounces cooked, as opposed to the eight ounces raw. That'll give me the same amount of protein, basically. Stir supper. Weigh out 5.5 ounces. That's how many uh, ounces each serving is going to be. Yep, I'm going to make. All I got to do is put this in here. That is for my carb update. And I'll put this in the freezer. So comparing and contrasting weighing your chicken before or after, um, I have to say that weighing it after is, it, it does seem definitely a lot easier. Um, as long as I'm following the guidelines, you know, I'll be as accurate as possible. That's all that really matters. Uh, because you just you know make adjustments based off of what you're doing. If you're doing things right, then you'll be fine. Uh, I made seven full 5.5 ounce meals um, of chicken, and I made one carb of day worth of chicken, which is four ounces, and then I made another. Oh, this will probably be another carb of day of chicken. Um, it's 4.8, so I'm gonna measure uh, out eight ounces, so that it'll be a carb of day, and I'll put this in a certain part of my freezer so that I know, like, all the ones on the doors are for carb up days. Everything in the back is for regular days. Alright guys, this thing took me like damn near 10 minutes just to put up. Got it up. I had to use these little, you know, those um, picture frame hooks. Did a little bit of leveling. And I used a ruler, etc. Took me a little while. Got my posters up here. I might, you know, just visit this show. Um, these two shows are potential. Um, you know, I'm gonna think about which one, if not both. This one's a for sure show I'm doing right here. The July 16th show. That right there, that's a doctor's. That's an eye exam appointment. I right, got five pounds of fish, and I got about five right there. I'm gonna cook right after. 
Over there I got my six ounce full serving tilapias. Over here, the five ounce are carb ups. And I, I'm telling you, <laughs> me weighing my food or weighing my fish and chicken after cooking it, so much easier for me. So much easier. Because I can just pick it up, throw it on the damn thing, five ounces, six ounces, bam, bag it. Boom, six ounces, bag it. And I can sauce everything at the same time. I don't have to worry about separation. It's so much easier. Oh, I can't believe I did it sooner. Swag.